In a surprising move, the man convicted of ordering the kidnapping and murder of a 13-year-old girl testified in his own defense. Hello, I'm Steve Eager. Darius Fields denied any involvement in the death of Siobhan Randall and a man he described as a little brother, Michael Titus. Fields was convicted yesterday of organized crime, prosecutors calling it retaliation over stolen drugs. Siobhan Randall really had nothing to do with that all. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn has our story tonight. Lynn Ann. Yes, yeah, Steve, going against his attorney's advice, Fields testified on the stand for about two hours answering questions about his criminal history as well as the robbery that supposedly started it all and, and where, his whereabouts uh, when Siobhan was kidnapped, insisting he was not involved. For the first time, jurors heard from Darius Fields himself, telling his side of the story. Fields was immediately in tears when asked about his upbringing and father. He spent most of my life in prison. He got, he got out right after I got out of prison in 2015. Prosecutors convinced the jury Fields ordered Siobhan Randall's kidnapping and murder with the help of three associates. But Fields denied even knowing one of them, Desmond Jones, who was convicted in 2020 and denied any involvement at all in the crime, even saying he tried to help police find Siobhan by allowing them to search his phone. Did you instruct anybody or direct anybody or encourage anybody to do anything whatsoever to cause her death? No, sir. I, I ask myself that a lot, but because I think maybe if I wasn't selling weed, none of this probably would have happened. I beat myself up a lot about that. Both Siobhan Randall and Michael Titus were found shot to death inside an abandoned Dallas drug house. But Fields claimed that during the girl's kidnapping, he was at home sleeping. What about with the death of Mike Titus? Did you have anything to do with that? I loved him like a brother. If I could have saved him or Siobhan, I would have. During trial, prosecutors said Fields had motive to order the kidnapping of the 13-year-old girl in retaliation for stolen marijuana she had nothing to do with. And surveillance video and cell phone data showed the group planning the crime and conducting surveillance on Siobhan's home and a relative's workplace. The prosecution's cell phone evidence showed Fields' phone communicating with others involved in the kidnapping up to and during the abduction. There were several moments during Fields' testimony where he claimed to be forgetful on dates and details. Are you telling the jury you didn't know the password to that 8658 phone? I'm trying to treat me and I'm just asking can I get the right so I can get out of the story. I don't know the numbers. Okay. I haven't used those numbers in over five years. Before he began by crying to play on every one of your sympathies. He is a manipulator. Period. End of story. And Fields faces 15 years to life in prison. Prosecutors have asked the jury to sentence him to life.